Hoynes claim that his resignation was the act of a dissident? At best, he was being disingenuous, and at worst, duplicitous. When Robin Cook resigned, did he impugn Tony Blair's entire premiership? No, he made it very clear his resignation was over the single issue of Iraq. So this is in the vein of Geoffrey Howe, and of course that led to Margaret Thatcher's downfall. Well, it's no coincidence he used virtually the, the same phrase. It's for others to decide where their loyalties lie, is it? Hoynes did it to force a leadership contest and put himself in pole position. Instead of which, at the risk of mixing too many metaphors, he's put himself out in the wilderness. They can make a real impact on government policy, curb its power, really hold it to account. No, surely the fact that I ran the department's a bonus. I've got direct experience of its budget and expenditure, which means I, I can offer the committee unique insight into the viability of its policies. Oh, I know. I know, some might see my presence on the committee as... divisive. I'm... I'm out to cause trouble for Babish. No, nothing could be further from my mind. This is about drawing a line under the past, really. About moving forward. Frankly, I can't think of a better way to start than under your stewardship. I just want a chance to prove myself to the party. You know, prove I'm, I'm still an asset, not a liability. And if you don't get elected, could anything be worth the humiliation of that? If humiliation is the price for rehabilitation, risk I have to take. <laughs> Dieter's actions are a gross violation. Oh. I'm not prepared to sacrifice my principles for self-preservation. But it prompted me to wonder, how many of us in this house have prostituted our principles for power and self-interest? How many times have we flouted and ignored our own ministerial code on ethical standards when it suits us? Well, how very cosy. Post-mortem, is it? I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. I mean, full bloody marks for ingenuity, mate. Oh, it was up there in the stratosphere. What was it again? Political fortunes are made on bold ideas. Oh, and just so you know, clean sweep. Next stop, criminal charges and deselection. Bonus, eh? This is unwise, Bruce. There she is. Come join us. The golden couple, ladies and gents. Bruce, that's enough. So tell me, was it his idea or yours? His... Damascus conversion, the, the, the big idea he spun me. All that pillow talk, planning it, perfecting it to reel me in. God, what a turn on that okay, must I have been, eh? I'll just bet it made you wet. Hey, just yeah, you're, you're about it, eh? Hey, oh, okay, okay. Oh, oh, my God. Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Come on! As you were, show's over. Over the years, I've seen some pretty unseemly displays in this place. But I have to say, that takes pole position. Are you ready for us, Prime Minister? Yes, thank you, Marcus. <laughs> 